Good day and welcome to the short introduction of smart reporting. What is smart reporting? Smart reporting has been created to assist in making good decisions on the basis of accurate information extracted from raw data. However, this is easier said than done and where solution manager and report tools or smart reporting will help you. If you have updated to 2017 update 4a or later and you are registered for smart reporting, you will have the smart reporting functionality by selecting on view smart reporting. Once selected, a second icon will appear with the five reports currently available. Monthly analysis report, the ETI report, the IRP5 report, the skills and equity report, the batch import report, and the employee search option. Let's start with the monthly analysis report. A lot of you will ask, why do we have the monthly analysis report in smart reporting if we have the standard monthly analysis report in payroll? Well, this report will give you the opportunity to run your raw data in a specific filter way for your financial request. Based on the standard monthly analysis found in the software, this report now allows you to filter, view and analyze the data like never before. Once the report is open, it will open to the main filter screen. On the screen, you will have the ability to filter your report according to your specifications. On the left, you can select on the different pay frequencies available. Underneath, you can select the different cost centers, the number of periods that you would like to run the report for, and the different type of transactions. You can also select on the different transactions that you would like to display in your report. So let's start by running the report for monthly employees. Select on monthly. You will see that only the monthly employees and transactions applicable to your employees will be highlighted in green to select from. We only want to see the income transactions, but under income, we would like to see the basic salary and commission transactions. Once we have selected the information, we can now view our three different layouts of the monthly analysis report. On the first report, you will see that you have all your employees on your left hand side with the different transactions and the different periods. On the transaction summary, it will summarize all the periods for you for the transaction selected. And on the payroll analysis report, it will filter all your employees on the left with the year-to-date totals for the transactions. Once you are happy with the report and you would like to run a different filter selection, you can select on the filter report and select clear filter. And all the options becomes available to select your next report. Let's look at the ETI report. This report is an easy viewing report to see all ETI employees information. The report details ETI information and can prepare you for any audit. Once you have selected the report, it will open up to a main screen where you can select on generate report. Here you will have to enter in the date range that you would like to view your ETI information. It will then populate all the relevant information for you that is reflected on your ETR report for that period. Let's look at the IRP5 checklist report. This report is an easy accessible way to ensure that all your transactions are set up correctly for your biannual and tax year in submissions. The report allows you to drill down and to see what transaction made up the total amount under your tax codes. This will allow you to ensure individual RP5 certificates reflect the correct amount under the correct tax totals. On the main screen, you will see all your employees under the employee filter. If you select on one specific employee, it will only display this employee's information on the right hand side. 
If you select on the IRP5 checklist summary at the top, it will break down the amount for all your employees in a summary format. The Skills and Equity Report This is the EA2 Workforce Profile Report. You will now have the ability to break down who makes up the report through dynamic filters. You will also be able to ensure that all the skills and equity information have been entered on the employee's master file by seeing employees who have missing information on the skills and equity tab. It also fills the role of simple problem solving options to ensure all the relevant employees are reflecting under the correct conditions. If you select on generate report, it will ask you to enter in the date. This will be the 30th of September as it is the last date for the submission period. Once selected, it will display the report for you. If you are unsure about the number of employees in a category, you can select on View Employee Details. Select the occupational level, let's say Top Management. The race is African, as this is the one in question, and select OK. It will then display all your employees that forms part of the occupational level. If you want to see if all your employees' details are completed, you can select on the filter and filter for all the empty categories. This will display the employees that was not completed correctly on the employee master file. Let's look at the batch import functionality. This will allow you to manipulate the raw data and create the correct batch layout for your financial details to be imported correctly into Sage, Pastel, Payroll and HR, say for instance like a clock card system. You will have to have the raw Excel spreadsheet saved on this PC. Select on Run Report. Here you can select if it is a quantity, amount, month to date or year to date batch that you would like to create. If you create a batch for overtime, you will select on the quantity as you're entering a quantity for that transactions. In this example, we are going to do a amount based batch. Select on amount and continue. It will prompt you to open up the file. Select OK. Select the do raw data sheet. On the first screen, it will ask you to select the first employee code that you would like to use. Select OK, then select the last employee code that you would like to be part of this batch. Select then on the first column header that has the transaction code in it. Select OK, then select the last column with the last transaction code for this batch. It will then create the file for you and prompt you to select the destination where you would like to save the file to import into payroll. The file is now ready to be imported into payroll. The employee search option. This is definitely a must have for any payroll administrator. On this, you can create your own smart report by dragging and dropping the exact information that you require for any information and reporting needs. On the main screen, it will default to some of your employees' information that was completed on the employee master file. If you right click on the menu bar and select on column chooser, it will give you the option to select on additional fields to add into the reports. Let's say we would like a report with our employee code, name, surname, ID number and net pay. We can remove all the fields that we don't want by simply dragging them back into the column chooser. Then we want to swap around the surname and name and add in the ID number and net pay. Once you are happy with the information on the report, 
you can then select on export to Excel. This will generate the report for you in Excel that you can save. If you would like to create a new report, select on Reset List or just add in the additional fields that you would like to display on the report. Thank you for viewing our new Smart Reporting function. If you would like any additional information, kindly contact us on 011 304 4300 or email us on pastelsmart at sage.com.